Hi there, my name is Janet Fagan and I am a teaching artist with the Fry Art Museum's Creative Aging Program. Sometimes all you need to start an art project can be found in your home. Today's Still Life project is going to be created from things that we gather from our kitchen. We are going to be looking for produce from the bounty of what's available right now in this wonderful summer season. Um, fruits, vegetables, combined with maybe a special bowl or a cup that you love. And potentially, if you have some patterned um, tablecloths or napkins, grab those too. We're going to bring those back to the studio and let our imagination take over from there. So go ahead and collect these things and I'll meet you back in the studio. Welcome back. You'll see in this image that I have arranged a still life using the objects that I collected from my kitchen. Various types of produce, a special vase, I even found a patterned tablecloth. So take a minute now with your art partner to set up your still life. Arrange your objects in a way that's pleasing to you. You can talk with your art partner about what things feel like, what colors you see, what shapes you find, and these are the tools that you're going to use for your inspiration. We're going to get started in just a minute, but first we're going to take a look at the other materials that we'll need. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Although you don't have to cut with this project, you can tear your paper as well. It might be good to collect a few markers. Um, I just grabbed an assortment of colors that I thought were fun. And you'll also need a glue stick. Um, remember these work by just popping off the top. The glue is inside and you can expose it by rolling up the bottom or pushing up the bottom. And then I like to keep the caps on because they dry up quick. And then the rest of the project is really using um, found papers from around your home. And you'll see that I have a, a calendar page here, a piece of tissue paper that came from a, a gift box from long ago. I also have some colored cardstock, just different scrap pieces that I save for art projects in different colors. You can also buy colored cardstock in um, office supply stores or on Amazon. Um, greeting cards that you've been given or that you have tucked away um, that you're ready to recycle. I have a couple of um, couple of cards that I think might be really fun for a still life collage project. And also wrapping paper. If you have um, wrapping paper that you've saved or little scraps that aren't really big enough for anything else, you can use those. And if you have any patterned paper, um, patterns are always, always fun. And this also is another item that can be purchased from art supply stores or from Amazon. Um, so go ahead and take a minute to gather with your art partner um, little bits of papers, colored paper, pattern paper, paper bags, tissue paper, greeting cards, anything that you think might be fun to have on hand for your collage. And then come on back and we'll look at a couple of demos and get started with our project. Okay, so here you'll see a demo that I did from an earlier still life, and I was really inspired for this for this collage by the shapes of the lemons and the grapes. And you'll notice that I let my imagination dictate the color of the grapes. I didn't feel like I had to make them the color that the grapes actually are, and I had a lot of fun making them blue instead. Here's another example. Uh, you'll see the lemon again, and also you'll notice that I included the vase that's in this still life, but much, much simpler. I didn't feel like I needed to put in all of those details, and I just made up these flowers in the top that um, I imagined were coming out of the vase. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. Just put these off to the side. 
what, one way that I really like to start a project is by taking two different types of paper, one smaller than the other one, and then you can create an instant frame around your project by just putting the small piece inside of the large piece. And I'm not going to glue anything down just yet. I'm going to just experiment with tearing, cutting, and placing things that are just inspired by the still life in front of me and having fun arranging them. So this is um, an opportunity for you and your art partner to take turns discovering things that you you see within the still life that you want to perhaps include in in your art project. So one of the first things that I notice is that on the tablecloth there's this white border and I had just prepped a couple of smaller pieces of white paper ahead of time so that I could make my version of this border. So I'm just going to make this angle that I see on my paper just for fun because I like it. Another thing that really stands out to me is um, just the shapes of the different pieces of fruit. So I think I'm gonna, gonna start by just tearing small piece of paper so that I can make a torn version of the apple in the background there. So I'm just letting the edges be whatever they wanna be, moving around making a little adjustment and then I have my apple shape. And I also cut out some parts of the um, greeting cards that I had saved and one of the things that I really liked was this little kitty cat head so I think I'm gonna just tuck him right here peeking from behind the apple see how that looks I kinda like that and then maybe I'm going to go to the tissue paper and tear out some of the pattern. So you see I'm just having fun going back and forth between inspiration from the materials I have on hand, inspiration from the still life, and just playing with placing things around. Ooh, and then the I love that big orange shape too. And I tore out an orange earlier, but I think I'm gonna go into it with the scissors because I really like how the orange has a little bump on one side. And I wanna highlight that, so I'm just gonna make sure that that little, that little bump shows. And I'm gonna slide that in here. So you start to get the idea. And, and as you add things, you might take things away too. And maybe there's a time for your marker to come in. So I'm looking at the pattern that's on the, the tablecloth and maybe I just wanna take a shape that I see in there, which is a rectangle, and I'm gonna just draw it onto my collage paper. and so on. So you start to get the idea. This is really just an opportunity for you to explore the materials, imagine building your own creation based on the still life that you see in front of you. And these are like little lime shapes that I cut out earlier. Maybe I can go here. <laughs> well, I'm going to play around with it, and then when I am sure that I like the way it's arranged, I'm going to glue it down. And I hope that you have so much fun working on yours. Let's take a minute just to work on our still lives, and then we'll come back together to, to finish up. Okay, now that you and your art partner have finished arranging your collage and um, helped each other to glue down all of the pieces. Let's enjoy looking at what we've created. 
here's how my finished piece wound up. Um, I always enjoy looking at a finished project from a little bit of a distance after I've completed it. So have your art partner hold your piece up about five or six feet away from you and see if that changes what you see or what you notice. You might also enjoy changing the orientation, turning your composition, looking at it sideways, looking at it upside down, and talking with each other about how that may change or may not change what you see. And which way do you prefer it? Which way do you like it best? Um, I actually discovered that I enjoy my collage when it's turned completely upside down because it just makes me laugh at the little kitty peeking out from behind the orange upside down. <laughs> Thank you so much for being creative today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.